Hey guys, I was just uh, just doing some work on our planter here, uh, changing out some no-till colders down there, and uh, I had to get out the torch, and I was using the sparker here, and uh, it reminded me of Fred Hart's video where he was trying to start a fire using some fire starting techniques that he had never used before. So, I thought I would uh, give this a try here, <clears throat> just with on the whim, and see how well this little sparker worked. No, it's not the smallest thing in the world, but it is all contained. You don't need your knife or anything else to make it work. It's just all one piece, so <clears throat> I just thought I'd thought I'd take a little bit here <clears throat> everybody should know by now that I've never done this before but starting to fire from scratch but I'm just gonna take uh, my subway napkin here I just got done with lunch and put it down in there a little bit and see if I can't catch it on fire with this sparker Well, not working quite as quick as I thought it might. <clears throat> it is smoking slightly. There we go. Hopefully you can see that I did get a little fire in there, which is all I wanted. <clears throat> that was all I wanted, was just to see if I could get a fire. And I don't know, I suppose if I had some better tinder or something like that, <clears throat> it would uh, definitely be better. But, like I said, I just thought I'd make this video and see how well it could be done. Uh, maybe I'll try again with some drier land or something of that nature and uh, see how well it works. And, uh, I better get back to work here on our planter. Uh, I got a lot of work to do, get changing colders and <clears throat> packing wheel bearings and getting a clutch changed and stuff. So uh, I got some work to do, but uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Bye.